If you're looking for a TV that measures 65 inches or larger, we have advice on the different types of display technologies to consider, along with the best big screen models we've tested. The P series sits near the top of Vizio's TV lines, and accordingly has one of its sleekest, most premium looking designs. The screen is a mostly bezel free pane of glass framed on the top and sides by a thin silver band. A 0.6 inch matte silver strip runs along the bottom edge, with a Vizio logo at the right corner. The whole TV sits on two matte gray V-shaped legs, near the edges of the screen. If you want to put the TV on a flat surface rather than mount it on the wall, make sure it's wide enough to accommodate both legs. All of the ports, save the power cable, sit on the right side of the back of the TV. Two HDMI ports, a USB port, and component video inputs face right, while three more HDMI ports, an optical audio output, RCA stereo outputs, an Ethernet port, and an antenna slash component connector face down. The power cable runs from the left side of the back of the TV. The included remote is a 6.7 inch long black plastic wand with a prominent navigation pad with an indentation for the OK slash play slash pause button located near the top. Power, menu, input, and dedicated service buttons for Amazon, Crackle, iHeartRadio, Netflix, Voodoo, and Zumo sit above the navigation pad. A Vizio Smart Cast button sits below it, flanked by volume and channel rockers, with a number pad below that. The 55 or 635 features no bezels on the sides and top, only a strip of brushed metal below the bottom edge of the screen, holding a metal rectangle with the TCL logo in the center, and an indicator LED below it. The strip matches the brushed metal sides of the TV, giving the entire package an elegant look. All connections except the power cable jack sit on the right side of the back of the TV, and include four HDMI ports, a USB port, an Ethernet port, an antenna slash cable connector, an optical audio output, a 3.5 mm headphone jack, and a 3.5 mm connector for composite video input with the included adapter. A combination power slash input button sits below the ports, on the bottom right corner of the back of the TV. Only the power jack sits on the left side, on the back. The included remote is a standard Roku TV model, a short, rounded black wand with Roku's signature big purple plus shaped navigation pad near the top. Home, back, and power buttons sit above the pad, along with a pinhole microphone for using Roku's voice search. Playback controls sit below the pad, along with microphone, replay, and options buttons, and four dedicated service buttons for Disney+, Hulu, Netflix, and Sling TV. A volume rocker and mute button sit on the right edge. Since this is a Roku voice remote, it connects wirelessly to the TV and doesn't require direct line of sight to work. The 52-pound-65H9G is supported by two triangular metal legs and has four visa holes around back for wall mounting. Also around back, facing outward, are composite video and audio ports, a digital audio output, and a LAN port. Facing left are three HDMI ports, two USB ports, a headphone jack, and a coaxial cable jack. The power jack sits by itself over on the right side of the back panel. In addition to a wired network connection, the H9G offers wireless connectivity via a built-in dual-band 802.11 acres Wi-Fi radio. It is virtually bezel-free on three sides, with just a thin sliver of chrome trim separating the glass from the edge, and it sports a slight silver bezel along the bottom. Just below the Hisense badge on the center of the bottom bezel are a remote control sensor, a pair of far-field microphones, and a microphone on slash off switch. There's also a pair of down-firing 10-watt speakers powered by Dolby Atmos audio technology. The H9G is an Android TV and as such offers a wealth of streaming apps, news and sports channels, entertainment channels, games, and more. Additionally, the H9G has a screenless mode that lets you use the TV to control other Google Assistant smart home devices such as lights and thermostats, even when the TV is off. The H9G can also be linked to your Amazon Alexa account and will respond to certain Alexa voice commands. The C9 is one of LG's most simply and conventionally designed OLED TVs, but it still looks attractive thanks to its completely bezel-less design. The entire front of the TV is simply a pane of glass containing the OLED panel, with a flush black border measuring only 0.3 inches between the active part of the screen and the edge. 
The panel is framed by a tiny strip of rounded gunmetal aluminum, too small to be seen against the border of the screen unless you get very close to the TV. The back of the C9 is brushed gunmetal aluminum, providing some support structure to the OLED panel while keeping it only a tenth of an inch thick. The lower half of the C9 bulges out another 1.7 inches in the middle to accommodate the plastic enclosure that holds all of the TV's electronics besides the OLED panel. Aside from the power connector on the right side, all ports sit on the left side of the back of the TV in two recesses. Three HDMI ports and a USB port face left in the leftmost recess. A fourth HDMI port, two USB ports, an Ethernet port, an antenna slash cable connector, an optical audio output, and 3.5mm ports for audio, composite video, and RS-232C control systems face directly back in the second recess. The A9G embraces the minimalist, black simplicity of the company's Xperia phones and Walkman MP3 players. The TV is a simple, black, bezel-less OLED panel with only a 0.3-inch black strip framing the active display. An additional quarter-inch strip of dark gray runs along the bottom edge, featuring an indicator light in the center and the Sony logo on the left. The screen is ringed with a slim band of black metal along the quarter-inch thick sides. The TV sits completely upright on a flat, brushed gunmetal stand. The stand is shaped like a rounded rectangle, providing the only notable curves on the A9G's design. It's flat enough that the bottom edge of the screen sits only 0.2 inches above whatever surface you set it on. While the screen itself is just over a quarter of an inch thick, a rectangular black plastic enclosure on the back adds another 1.8 inches to the A9G. This enclosure holds all of the TV's electronics, along with its physical connections along the left side and bottom. An HDMI port, two USB 2.0 ports, a 3.5mm headphone jack, a 3.5mm composite video input, a 3.5mm infrared receiver port, and, uniquely, a set of speaker wire connectors face left on the back of the TV. Three more HDMI ports, a USB 3.0 port, an Ethernet port, an optical audio output, an RS-232C port, and an antenna-slash-cable connector face downward. The A9G has a conventional design compared with the company's previous OLED models, but one helpful feature carries over, Sony's Acoustic Surface Audio Plus. Instead of conventional speaker drivers hidden somewhere on the TV's casing, the A9G uses a pair of 10-watt actuators to resonate the OLED panel itself to produce stereo sound. The actuators work in tandem with a pair of 20-watt subwoofer drivers to produce bass, for a 60-watt sound system that produces a larger sound field with better imaging than conventional TVs.